check out this gun here. Now, this here is a Steyr Aug. Steyr Aug's a bad motherfucker. Listen. It's, it's expensive, too, man. Made in Austria. Now, my customers don't know shit about it, so there ain't no demand for it. But let me tell you, though, man, you put this bad boy in a flick, every motherfucker out there won't mind. I'm serious as a heart attack. Every mother effer, including me. I'm Joseph. You're watching Taking Shots. And today's episode, we got the Styrog. Let's get it on. If it's your first time here, guys, welcome. If not, then welcome back. I do appreciate you all checking out my video. Today we're gonna discuss, the, my, my dog just keeps barking. You know, who, who needs a personal protection gun when you got a 125 pound American Bulldog? But uh, today we're gonna discuss the Steyr Aug. Now this gun was designed back in the 1960s. It was introduced in 1977. Um, the gun's very futuristic looking, and I do believe that because of its very iconic design, uh, it was used in many, many movies and many TV shows, and we're going to go over some of them uh, today. So, well, for starters, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at everyone's favorite Christmas movie, Die Hard. We are both professional. This is personal. Now the most recent memory I have of this gun in a Hollywood TV show or movie would probably be in The Walking Dead. I remember when the governor came out, came down to the prison, he had his AUG, he was shooting at Rick and the gang. It was a pretty pretty awesome fight scene, so here's a little clip from it. One time that son of a- Speaking of zombies, here's a clip from 2005 Land of the Dead to show that this gun is so simple to use, even a zombie can do it. Here in America, we always refer to the Steyr Aug as an Aug, but in Austrian, they refer to it as an AUG, which technically is the correct pronunciation of saying Aug, is to literally spell it out letter by letter. But AUG is an acronym, it's German, and it means this, put the words down here. It's been a long time since I took German, that was back in my high school days, so I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it, but AUG stands for that, which translates to Army Universal Rifle. Now, as I mentioned before, the Styrog, they've been around since 1977. So from 1977 to this year, 2023, that's a long time. That's a long time they've been making these guns. And for whatever the reason, these guns are super hard to come by. My local uh, gun store, they've been open since 2011. And I've pretty much been shopping there since not too long after they opened. All the years I've been going there, all the years they've been operational, all the guns that have been traded in, all the new firearms they've purchased from uh, distributors, never once did they get their hands on a Styrog. 
Now the owner, he knew I wanted one. It was on my bucket list. So when he finally got offered one from his distributor, he said yes. And here she is. Now inside the box, there's three things. The first being the manual. Oh, there we go. Makes it a little easier to read, huh? It's actually a pretty thick manual. It breaks down everything. Very well done. Much better than the other manuals that my firearms have come with. Steyer did a good job on this one. Second thing it comes with is a mag pole, 30 round mag. This is the nice one. This is the one that has the dust cover on it. If you can see. And the last thing it comes with is the gun itself. This is the OD Green NATO variant. It's got a 16 inch barrel. It has the extended rail on the top here. It's an olive drab OD Green. Now because this is the NATO variant, it only has the ejection port on the right side of the gun. Whereas the non-NATO version, you can actually swap if you want it to eject on the left or the right side. The NATO just goes to the specs and it only shoots out to the right. But because it's the NATO variant, it accepts standard AR mags. So I was okay if I got the NATO or the uh, standard version. I was fine with either one of them. I mean, I already had the AR mag, so like, why not? I just, it's less mags I gotta buy. And I shoot it right-handed anyways, so if it ejects at the right, I'm good with that. The gun's pretty cool, because the forward grip on the gun here, you can kind of pull down a little bit, and you can fold it up. So you see here, when you want it back down, it snaps back into place, and it lets you Move it around a little easier. All the weights in the back of the gun, since it's a bolt pup, the firing mechanism, and where the mag loads up, it's all behind the trigger. Because of that, the trigger's pretty much crap. I'm not gonna lie. The gun's phenomenal. The trigger's garbage. But nothing's perfect, right? It's the price you gotta pay to have the gun be so compact. I mean, it looks like an SBR, feels like an SBR, but it's not, it's got a full 16 inch barrel. So the 5.56 five, rounds, they really get to send off full speed. Now this particular one, um, like I said, it's got the extended rail on the top. It has the, if you can see it here, right, right here, it's got a little rail up here. I think I'm gonna put a flashlight on there because where your finger lines up right here, it's perfect for flicking the flashlight on and off. So I'm gonna put a light there. I put an optic on here, it's just some cheap one. It's just something for now. I'm gonna put a real nice one on there, I believe. So, but till then, I got something, because in a few days, I'm gonna be going to the range for July 4th, and I want to uh, try her out, so. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you found it uh, entertaining, if you found it informative, if it was fun or whatever, then please consider subscribing. Click the bell, hit the thumbs up, give me a like, and uh, leave a comment, guys. Uh, anything you do along those lines that helps me out, gives the algorithm uh, a little push for me. So till next time, guys, enjoy. Thanks for watching and be safe.